Okay, here's the question then. So I've got it summarized here. The rate of increase of A is directly proportional to root A. Write down a differential equation satisfied by A. The rate of increase of A is the ADT is directly proportional to the square root of A. So the ADT then is equal to K multiplied by the square root of A. That's the differential equation. Uh, the area of the lake is covered at time t equals 3 is 64. The area covered at time t is 5.5 is 196. Find a in terms of t. So let's integrate this then. So separating the variables and integrating. gives. So let's leave the dA as is. Let's move the dT up, but we'll move the root A underneath. So that's 1 over A to the half, isn't it? We can write it as. So we move that down, leave the K as is, and move the dT up to be with it. That's the variable separated and integrating gives. This is A to the minus a half, so increase the power by 1 and divide by that number is equal to and then integrate this k t plus c integrate with respect to t on the other side so that tells us then that a to the half is equal to a half uh, oh it's two sorry two a to the half equals k t plus c that's better the two swings up uh, kt plus c. Okay, that's what we get here. Now we'll put in the initial conditions. First of all, we know that when t is 3, uh, the area is 64. t equals 3, a equals 64, gives 2 a to the half, a to the half is 8, 2 8 is 16, t is 3, 3k plus c, that's equation 1, and then t equals 5.5, wasn't it? Area equals 196, gives, let's see what we get here, 196 to the half is 14, two 14s are 28, k times t, 5.5t, uh, k rather, plus c. And that's equation two. If we do two take one, uh, things will the C's will cancel. So two minus one then gives. We've got two equations in two unknowns. Sixteen twenty-eight minus sixteen is twelve. Five point five minus three is two point five. Lots of k, and the C's cancel. That's why we're doing it. So k equals twelve over two point five times by 4 times by 4 is 48 over 10 so k is 4.8 we tap that in the calculator if we need to uh, by 1 then c is equal to 16 minus 3k okay it's 16 minus 3 times 4.8 3 fours are 12 14.4 that works out as. Again, tap it in the calculator if you need to. So C is 1.6. So uh, we've got our equation then. 2a to the half. 2a to the half then is equal to 3k. 3, uh, 3k. Uh, kt rather, 4.8t. Plus C, which is 1.6. So A to the half then is equal to 2.4 T plus 0.8. Square both sides to get A. So A will equal then, it will be 2.4 T plus 0.8 all squared. And there's the value for A. 
in terms of t.